Hello, good morning, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and this is going to be the general daily collective message for Tuesday, August the 20th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid, guys. So this could play out today. This could have already happened. It's gonna happen in a couple days. Just take what resonates, leave behind the rest. I always like to talk about the intuitive insights that I download in my meditation each morning and then I like to jump in with the cards. So hit that subscription button. Don't forget to like the video comment on the video and share the video especially if the message is resonating with you and so this morning I was shown the star card reversed with the five of cups in my mind's eye and I have had such a pressurized energy around my third eye and so I feel the collective is in this portal of like a full moon hangover we had that super blue rare blue super moon in Aquarius yesterday and this could have led to some type of serious disappointment or some type of uh, serious loss. And so this energy is just hinting at somebody here is struggling with a lack of hope, maybe even a lack of inspiration, 111 on the timer. And I do feel this, this is an energy that is representing deep emotional turmoil. There might be a regret over a past mistake, but I feel the energy is indicating somebody here, there's an individual here that is likely feeling very overwhelmed by negative emotions. That's the five of cups. And so maybe you can't see any positive outcome from a recent loss or ending or disappointment, but it is important to acknowledge and process these negative emotions in order to allow them to move through you so you can restore hope and faith for the future because the energies really are saying find your hope find your inspiration take this loss take this disappointment and turn it into new creative potential because I was also shown the ace of wands and so this is an energy filled with hope inspiration creativity and potential the aces are potential and so overall Within any endings or loss or disappointments, there is the emergence of a new beginning, even if you don't see it right away. And so how can you take this disappointment and turn it into a pursuit of a new creative venture and harness this spiritual growth that's coming forward? I was also shown the two of wands and the ten of wands. And so when these energies, I feel kind of combine together, this is a sense of, of maybe being torn, torn between two paths torn between two choices. The twos represent decisions, crossroads, choices. This could mean exploring something completely new. And the Ten of Wands is a reflection of some type of burden, something when it comes to too much responsibility or overwhelmed with maybe needing to be responsible with making a choice. And so this really is a call to action, I feel, in the energies today. It's a call to action. It might even be a time to take a step back and reevaluate a situation, your current situation. And it might mean you might have to make a very tough choice. Uh, you might have a lot on your plate, <laughs> um, but I do feel you are capable of handling it all. You are more than capable of handling whatever is on your plate. But don't forget to put down a few things and just take things one step at a time. That was the big message of this morning. So let's jump in with the cards. Let's see what else needs to come through for a message. And I grabbed the Kyle Gray uh, gateway of light activation deck today. I do feel we've kind of shift timelines. I know I feel like I've shifted timelines recently. So let's see what kind of gateway activation took place with that full moon in Aquarius with this full moon hangover energy. And so Anunnaki light codes. And so there has been a major energetic shift Without a doubt, there's been an energy shift. And so you might have received some new information that is allowing you to end uh, some type of cycle. And then we get Palladian activation, uh, two energies of activations. And so something is kind of coming together and you might not see uh, how it's all going to come together. But there's been some type of resolution up in the heavens, up in the cosmos. And so you might want to be working very closely with the Palladian light beings at this time connect with them. Uh, but what do we got here? We got sacred inner space. Create that sacred inner space. And so there could be a sacral chakra clearing going on. And so the sacral chakra is where we house all of our emotional baggage. So you're going to want to be tender with yourself. You're going to want to be gentle with yourself. I do feel uh, you are safe and protected by the angels. Uh, so there could be a massive emotional purge going on here. What else needs to come through? 
we get the ancestral realm. And so there, there could have recently been a huge karmic uh, release. This is about healing the family lineage. So you might have had to recently instill some firm boundaries with somebody. Both energies are indicative of some type of portal being walked through. It reminds me of the Stonehenge. I was in uh, the UK last month and I was fortunate enough to drive by the Stonehenge. But if you look at uh, the energy above the Stonehenge, it looks like um, some type of DNA activation. And so you could have been activated uh, with some light codes. And then we get the Stargate heart. <laughs> so we're going to take it. There could have been a fallout. But this feels like some type of Merkaba activation, a heart chakra awakening, a heart chakra opening and unlocking a new path bottom of the deck the divine matrix and so somebody here could be stuck in a false foundation in the matrix with some type of man-made prescription for their life but there's this higher understanding coming in with the interconnectedness of everything and so follow the signs follow the synchronicities there could be a lot of coincidences playing out right now but we've kind of walked through the Gaia gateway activation and so you're probably learning a lot of karmic lessons right now, um, a lot of uh, karmic experiences reaching completion uh, because the wisdom has been transmitted. And so how can you take this clarity, this divine clarity, this divine intelligence and ground in uh, this divine healing and this high vibrational energy? So let's go a little bit further with the tarot. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams deck today. And let's get into it, guys. Uh, remember, this reading is not science specific. If you would like to book a more personal reading, there will be a link below in the description box. There will also be a link below uh, down in the comments. And so there's like a bubble here about to be burst. This is about getting rigorously honest about a situation. Somebody here could be trapped, could be blocked when it comes to communication. Uh, the Eight of Swords is kind of the lower octave of the Devil card. And so there's a need to expand beyond some type of cycle where maybe you feel entrapped. Maybe you do need to speak up. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that can be harsh with communication. Somebody that uh, likes to hurt you with their words. This could mean slander. This could mean gossip. This could just mean uh, somebody that's gaslighting you, keeping you stuck in a situation. But there, there could also be this energy of somebody needs to open up and confess because I think like the king of swords he usually is holding one sword an ace of swords and uh we take away one sword from the eight and we get the seven of swords and so there could be a need to own up to something there could be regret about a past decision and somebody here isn't speaking up but there's strong Aquarian energy coming through Jupiter energy we also did have the Jupiter Saturn square play out yesterday and so these uh, influences are fundamentally changing the path. Uh, you could be this King of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But let's go a little bit further and let's pull nine cards and let's see what needs to come through for the collective message today. 818 on the timer. More Aquarian energy. We get the star reversed. We get the Ace of Swords upright. And we get the victory card. And so... Whatever whatever truth has recently been downloaded, whatever clarity has recently been downloaded, this is some type of heart expansion. The Six of Wands I put right below the Stargate uh, heart uh, card. And so somebody here has gone through a higher heart chakra activation or opening. This is about unlocking generosity. And so there's been a truth that has recently come to light that might be breaking somebody free from a cycle of feeling hopeless, helpless, lacking inspiration. There's the star reverse that I channeled and there it is coming out straight out the gate. So we get Aquarian, we get Leo energy, and then we get the moon card. So Pisces energy, and we are still kind of in that super moon energy. The moon is actually moving into Pisces today. And so you might find yourself a little bit overly emotional. This is about facing some fear. This is about, I feel, letting it all out. This is about exposing something. And then we get the page of wands in reversed. We get the ace of wands upright. We get the Knight of Coins. We got the Queen of Swords upright. That's interesting. She was prominent in yesterday's message. I do remember that. And we do got the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck. 
we have an empress in reversed and so this might mean getting really honest about some type of partnership the two of cups is a partnership we've got uh the high we've got the empress in reverse taurus libra in reversed and we got a page of cups here and then we get a nine of coins and then we get a tower there might be an unexpected message coming an unexpected um arrival of some news this could mean an apology this could be an unexpected offer in love the empress reversed with these energies i'm i'm inclined to say uh, somebody might need to come in and apologize for not seeing somebody's worth and not seeing somebody's value. This could also be a breakdown of a false foundation in order for somebody to do some deep-seated emotional healing connected to a childhood pattern in order to step into your worth and step into your value. The Nine of Coins is a very singular energy. Somebody is being guided to speak straight from the heart, I feel, and it could be this Queen of Swords, uh, but I feel she's kind of turned her back on a two of cups uh, situation here and the central energy is the page of wands in reversed and so this could be a lack of inspiration for sure a lack of hope but this is leading to some newfound creative potential and so i feel we could have a feminine here that is being asked to take things one step at a time put one foot in front of the other here and and just keep going forward maybe it is time to turn your back on some type of situation that you thought was going to be a life partnership we're going to clarify that two of cups uh and so when we turn our back on things that aren't meant for us then we can go towards something that is healthy and reciprocal but this tower is saying things can't stay the same something here needs to be kind of rocked to the core and shaken up and maybe rebuilt maybe it can be rebuilt but there's going to be some type of an epiphany that's going to get something moving here so let's clarify the two of cups first let's clarify that energy first i just feel after maybe a series of challenges a series of of exponentially uh, dealing with people that are putting their two cents in uh there is there is a need to kind of rectify something we get the justice card in reverse clarifying the two of cups so we got libra we got cancer energy we got the tree of life and we get the ten of cups in reverse and so the tree of life i think of the empress when i think of the tree of life we got a third party on the bottom of the deck. We get the three of cups and we get the knight of swords. And so there could very much be unexpected news arriving. This is the energy of taking the mask off. Uh, Mercury and Cancer is coming through. We get uh, Pisces energy. Could be a Mars and Pisces. Doesn't have to be. But there is a need to right a past wrong. I do feel somebody is, is overwhelmed with maybe a past regret, needing to go back and fix something. But we've got this Queen of Swords that is no longer looking back at some type of connection. So what is this Page of Wands about? What is this Page of Wands about? In reversed, we get the Ace of Coins in reversed, flipped right out. What is this Page of Wands in reversed about? I think there's going to be some type of revelation or epiphany about a huge missed opportunity and that's kind of touching the ace of swords and so there might be an opportunity to heal something that doesn't have to be the case but there's that eight of swords again and i'm going to pull another one and the three of coins and so somebody here is really stuck on um regret uh i feel i feel somebody here is really struggling with uh swallowing some truth and uh and i think there could be sleepless nights stress and anxiety about a new creative endeavor here but i feel there's been like a huge loss in the energies a huge missed opportunity we get sagittarius energy we get capricorn energy and we get jupiter and right now jupiter is in gemini and with that square somebody i just feel like a bubble is going to get burst so i feel we've got a feminine here that might be receiving unexpected news i also feel too uh with the empress reversed the page of cups and the nine of coins we have a feminine here that could have healed after a major tower moment and now there's an offer coming in an unexpected offer but i'm really wanting to focus on this queen of swords because i feel this is one energy what is the queen of swords going to say about this message coming i think somebody's kind of already healed and moved on emotionally they're they're ready they're, they're not wanting to go back is what I'm feeling with the Six of Swords, but I feel there's something about balancing 
the scales. There's something coming back around to balance some scales. And I feel there's a feminine here that's likely a healer, uh, a high priestess. It could be a Pisces. doesn't have to be. That is waiting to receive news. The high priestess knows. The high priestess is a very singular energy. She goes within. She listens to her, her own intuition. And she is not guided or influenced by outside sources. And I do feel there is a masculine here that is angry, lashing out, could be bitter, could be jealous, that is lacking healing, going through some type of disillusionment with the Seven of Cups. Maybe in the past somebody had a lot of options and now they're running out of options. And so I just feel a very ungrounded, angry, jealous, egoic, masculine energy. Very well could be a Leo. Uh, definitely could be a Leo, Aries, Sag. I feel strong Leo. And, uh, and I just feel something's coming back around to bite somebody in the butt here. And uh, they're deep in the shadows. And I feel there is a need to get honest here, right? This person's been sleeping on the truth. I feel a wake-up call. We could have a king here very upset that's been watering a dead tree. This is stuck, stagnant energy. And I feel uh, somebody here might have chose the beaten pathway. And we got two people here that I feel are materialistic angry, jealous, possessive in some type of false union. And it's kind of time to face the music. It's time to face uh, the music. So uh, what is this truth all about? What's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth all about? This is about breaking the chains with some type of karmic pattern. So there is a major, major karmic release. This is about healing family lineage. This is about boundaries. This is about breaking free from lies, deception, manipulation. You could be dealing with a path pathological liar here. What's on the top of the deck? Yeah, we got a liar here. We got somebody that likes to twist the truth, that likes to, uh, you know, use words to hurt somebody. And this, this really is about love. And so somebody here is at the crossroads. They've got an opportunity uh, to go towards a new beginning in love. And this is like the holy grail love. This is a higher heart activation for sure. I just heard memories of Atlantis. And it's kind of time to come out of the closet. I feel somebody's been hiding in the spiritual closet. May might be time to come out and seek a spiritual mentor or to become a spiritual mentor. But the hermit usually holds a lot of wisdom. And this is about exposing the darkness. There is a major uh, release here that is leading to a new beginning. And so it is the energy of Pandora's box is being open. And once this darkness is released, you can't unsee it. But there is like a release of, of a deceptive situation and it is going to lead to the planting of a seed towards wish fulfillment and so get ready to walk through the gateway of a new opportunity here i do feel ancestral healing i do feel recognizing toxic family patterns and, and anchoring in this high vibrational energy so let's get a love note from the universe and let's see what else needs to come through for a closing message um I do feel there's no one in your life that hasn't actually truly loved you. And so the past is never in vain. So let go of the regrets, okay? Uh, you go where the universe asks you to go. And so prepare to be astounded. I want to say, what do we got here? You know what to do. You already know what to do. You needn't worry. I heard you needn't worry. Start where you are. And so, like I said, nothing is ever in vain. Start where you are. Establish a new foundation. The great thing about feeling deep, profound truth and going through this awakening process is that you can start over with anyone. Okay. And so the universe is saying there's something earth shattering, earth shaking here that is uh, rocking something to the core. I feel when it comes to a battle over the heart and the mind. And so takes a long time uh, for the heart to catch up with the mind and vice versa. And so there's a whole lot going on here when it comes to anchoring in the truth between the head and the heart. We also got sometimes the good is hidden. And so sometimes a tower comes in and it, and it blasts your entire belief apart. It blasts your entire world <laughs> apart. But there's always, always something good hidden in a tower, right? And sometimes it's a blessing in disguise and you don't see that until after the tower moment. But find the good in what is happening right now, even if you don't feel like it's there at the moment. The universe is saying there's stuff that's hidden all around you and it's kind of time to do something new and uh, to do something different. And so uh, when we fall in love with ourselves, 
when we're busy caring for ourselves, loving for ourselves, uh, then we can do something different. And so change is always good. So if you've recently gone through upheaval or some type of unexpected change or unwanted change, the only way to effectively uh, change the world is to actually change yourself from the inside out. And so uh, when we work on ourselves, uh, that's when uh, success is guaranteed. And so we can't change another person. Nope, we can't. And so uh, the only way to make real change is to change yourself. And so I think somebody here is partially uh, through a major tower. You needn't worry though, okay? You needn't worry. And so uh, this is all just a learning game. We came here to learn, to love, and uh, to, to, to be big. So stop playing small, I think, is another message. And that's what I got for a reading today. I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book in with me for a more personalized reading, feel free to check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.